Groundhog Day. Today, we're going to be exploring the history of Groundhog Day, as well as why hibernating animals are historically linked to the arrival of spring. The very first Groundhog's Day was celebrated in 1887 on February 2nd in Gobbler's Knob, Puxatawney, Pennsylvania. The tradition stated that if the groundhog emerged from his hole and saw his shadow, he would be scared and run back into his burrow to hibernate for another six weeks of winter. However, if the groundhog emerged and did not see his shadow, then he would stay outside and spring would be just around the corner. February 2nd has been celebrated since ancient times as a special day, being halfway between the winter solstice and the spring equinox. Many European proverbs actually draw links between the weather that they experience on that day and what kind of winter the rest of the winter is going to be. In addition, people have long recognized that there is a relationship between the waking of hibernating animals and the end of winter. Europeans believed that spring's arrival could be predicted by watching these animals, mainly hedgehogs, and seeing when they awakened. Early immigrants to North America, particularly those from Germany, brought this belief with them. However, not finding any hedgehogs, they instead turned to the groundhog to predict the end of winter. Now that we know a little bit more about the history of Groundhog Day, let's learn a little bit about hibernation. Because after all, Groundhog Day is based on an animal that hibernates. Hibernation occurs so that an animal can conserve energy to survive through harsh weather conditions or a lack of food. The length of time an animal hibernates depends on the animal. Some animals hibernate for as little as 12 hours, whereas other animals hibernate for up to nine months. A groundhog begins hibernating in early October and emerges in March. Many people believe that hibernating is just a deep sleep, but that's not quite true. When an animal hibernates, their body goes through many physiological changes that do not happen with regular sleep. This includes a slowing of their heartbeat and breathing, and a lowering of their body temperature. Now that we know a little bit about hibernation, let's play a game. Two pictures are going to pop up on the screen, and we want you to point at which of the animals you think hibernates. After a few seconds, we'll let you know the answer and a little bit about the animal, but make sure to let us know how many you got right in the comments below. For our first animals, we have a black bear and a moose. Both of these animals are found here in Ontario, but which one do you think hibernates? Remember to point to the picture on the screen of the animal that you think hibernates. If you guessed black bear, you're right! Female black bears can double in size over the summer in preparation for their long hibernation. But they can also lose half their body weight while hibernating, so those extra pounds are pretty important. Next up, we have an arctic fox and a skunk. There are many skunks here in southern Ontario, although arctic foxes are found further north. Which one do you think hibernates? Take a guess! If you guess skunk, you're right! Skunks spend the autumn eating as much as possible. Although they wake up from time to time during their hibernation, they are mostly dormant throughout the winter. Next up, we have a chickadee and a chipmunk. These are two animals that many of us can find in our own backyard. Which one do you think hibernates? If you guess chipmunk, you're right! Chipmunks wake up to feed every few days from the food they have stored in their den but the days in between their heart rate slows, a physiological change during their hibernation. All right, up next is our final slide. Make sure to point at the animal you think hibernates. Do you think it's a beaver or a bumblebee? If you guessed bumblebee, you're right. This was a little bit trickier because it's only the queen bumblebee who will hibernate through the winter. When she wakes up in spring, the queen will find a new place to start her colony. We hope you had a ton of fun playing and don't forget to let us know how you did. Happy Groundhog's Day!